Hi, we're here at RSA 2019 Broadcast Alley in the Moscone Center West. I'm here with Tony Anscombe of ESET, and we're here talking about what ESET's doing at the show. Welcome, Tony. Hey, hi, Rance. All right. So, Tony, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do with ESET? So, um, I'm a global security evangelist for ESET, and that involves me going around the world talking at conferences and meeting people like you and right. discussing what ESET do and how we protect our customers. Oh, fantastic. Sounds like you're a busy man here. Absolutely. All right. Good, good. I'm sure they've kept you busy. So, you mentioned ESET. Who is ESET and what do they do? Well, so ESET's a cybersecurity company. We're a European company. Um, however, we're also a global company. We're in 22 different countries worldwide. We have 1,600 employees, uh, which, of which nearly 40% are actually in our research and development department, which is unusual for a company of our size. Um, so we're very heavily focused on, uh, on R&D. Fantastic. It sounds huge. Um, what is ESET showing off at the show here? So here at RSA this year, we've recently re uh, released some enterprise-grade products. Uh, they're being demonstrated on our booth, including the ESET Security Management Console, uh, which is an enterprise-grade product uh, allowing people to manage their entire security environment with our products. Uh, we've also got enterprise, ESET Enterprise Inspector, which is our EDR product and the management that goes along with our EDR project, uh, product. Oh my goodness, wow, that's that's impressive product lineup. Um, I also hear you have some research to showcase here as well. Can you tell me a little bit about what, I'm hearing a lot about this term called Siegeware. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that and how that might impact some of uh, either the clients or the people attending the show? So as I mentioned, 40% of our, our employee base is, is still in R&D. So we're a very research orientated uh, company. So we produce lots and lots of research. Uh, one of the things, as you mentioned, Siegeware, is, is our concern that the next attack vector may actually be on buildings. So we all think about our devices being attacked, but what happens when the buildings we're standing in that are breathing and living data with all the IoT sensors, all the lighting systems being connected, the HVAC systems being connected. What happens if a cyber criminal comes in and takes control of those? And one thing that people don't think about is all the stakeholders involved in there. So think about the contractor, the building management company, uh, your own ops teams. Um, do, you you know, do you trust the building contractor that put in a HVAC system? Do you trust them? to have set a good password, or do you think he left it to the default? Sure, sure. Um, there's a good chance he may have left it to the default, it's on the public internet, and you could probably access the logon from the public, uh, public side of the internet. So therefore the cyber criminal now has access to the, to the HVAC system. Now imagine we're in a hospital, and he turns up the heat. That and would be around and, we, uh, and has changed the password. Do you evacuate the hospital or do you pay the ransom? Exactly, oh wow. Some interesting questions there yeah. and interesting scenarios to say the least. Wow, uh, Siegeware, okay. And will you have any of this either being communicated or demonstrated at the booth? We're certainly, we've got our research experts on, on the booth okay. so you can come and talk to them about your concerns okay. and the concerns we're seeing. Okay. Uh, we've also got some of our senior researchers on the booth talking about advanced malware research. Gotcha. Uh, we publish that research on as and when we, we find it on welivesecurity.com. So you can go there, look up some articles, come and talk to the actual authors of those articles right there on the booth. Oh, great. That sounds great. I think everyone here would appreciate actually having some access to the folks that are actually leading in this thought, leading our content. Um, any parting shots? Any information for those uh, before you head off? Um, well, come and, obviously come and visit the booth. The booth number is uh, 5345. One important thing, if you come and listen to one of the presentations on our booth, you have the chance of one win winning a small prize there and then, but over the entire course of the show, we are giving away $10,000 for somebody to take the trip of a lifetime. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, you heard it here first, uh, folks. ESAT's giving away 10 k in travel prizes here. Tony, I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for coming to uh, RSA's Broadcast Alley, and we will see you next time on the show. It's been great being here. All right. Thank you.